Uh, thank you, Brother Mohammed Abbas, for that introduction. Um, so as you can see, Brother Kumail and I are here today um, presenting on behalf of the Go Green Committee. Um, and we'd like to fill you in on some of the things that we've been recently working on. Um, for those who aren't familiar, the Go Green Committee is a subcommittee of the Masumin Islamic Center that was formed earlier this year. Um, and uh, we also serve as the satellite team for the Eco Board, which, is, uh, which has a similar mandate but operates under the larger ISIJ uh, model. Our purpose essentially, as you can see in our name, is to promote uh, is essentially initiatives that serve in the best in interest in our environment and preserving the environment um, and the planet that we've essentially been blessed with in accordance with our Islamic duties and responsibilities as laid out uh, by our Ahlul Bayt. Now when the team was formed, uh, we identified three large scaling mandates um, that you can expect us to focus on. The first is MIC specific green initiatives and we'll touch on this a little bit later as well. The second is community education and uh, training and the third being outreach initiatives. Um, and just an example of an outreach initiative is essentially to work with our community partners and societal partners to introduce events um, similar to what we organized in early April actually, which was a tree planting event in accordance or in partnership with the city of Brampton and the region of Peel. Unfortunately, because of climate change, or, or may not be of climate change, we uh, were surprised with uh, a week of snow in early April, I'm sure you all remember, and so that the event had to be uh, postponed, but inshallah we're working to reschedule it, and so you can expect that uh, coming shortly. Now, um, you might have noticed if you've been here at the center for the last couple of nights, there's been a slight change in terms of how we do things at the center, uh, which is the introduction of biodegradable supplies and moving away from styrofoam uh, tableware. So that means our plates, uh, bowls, and cups as well. So uh, well, I'm going to actually now pass it over to Kumail, who will be providing a little bit more information in terms of why we've uh, facilitated this change, why it's worth going and taking this extra effort about doing this, and you know, paying a little bit more money. Why are we doing this, Kumail? Can you explain us uh, or enlighten us a little bit further? Thank you, Brother, brother Ali Hassan. Um, Sayyid Muhammad Rizvi, with your permission, inshallah, elders of the communities, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <clears throat> of course, it's a question that many of us have probably asked ourselves a few times. Uh, maybe we haven't asked ourselves. Brother Ali Hassan just asked me this question uh, about why even bother about going green? Um, this is definitely the question that we want to answer. Now, of course, uh, I won't give you an, ac an academic answer today. Uh, we are, of course, being blessed with the holy month of Ramadan. We are, we are already now spiritually connected with, uh, with our Lord. So I'll try to give you the answers that will probably uh, will, will be more spiritual in nature. And of course, then I'll touch on the academic much more later in the slides. So the first one is, we are vice rose on earth, right? We've been chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to represent Him, right? To manifest His attributes. And if you see in, the, in, 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 the, uh, in Surah, Surah Al-Anam and verse number 165, where he tells us that he has appointed us as viceroys in the earth, he's going to try us with whatever that he's given us. So with everything that he's given us, this environment, this earth, and everything that, has, that is within it, uh, he's, he has given us, he's going to try us with it. Uh, we have a responsibility. Again, it's a God-given responsibility. If you take a look again in the Holy Quran, Surah number 7, Ayat number 31, what does Allah say? O children of Adam, eat and drink, but waste not. Waste not excess, for Allah loves not the wasters. Again here, we have been given a responsibility not to waste of all the bounties that Allah has given us uh, in this earth. Finally, because Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam has advocated. I won't, I won't read everything in detail here, but if you, while listening to me, if you're reading it, it you can tell from these lines, this is, the, this is essentially a saying by Imam Ali. And if you, look, if you read it while I'm speaking here, you notice that Imam Ali has advocated that we want to be those who are cultivating the land. We, were, we, we, we want to be the ones who are benefactors, not despoilers, not destroyers. Right? So this is essentially why we should even bother. Again, because it's something that, is, that is, we have responsibility that is divine. Now, there's three st I have identified three steps away from being going green or from being green. Right? The first step is, of course, we have to increase our conscious, right? Conscious, we need to be aware of certain things, right? Because if we're not aware about certain things, we won't even have the initiative to move forward in, in, in going green. So the first, of course, step is to increase our consciousness. Second thing is we need to transition from our consciousness to conscience, right? Where we realize that there is something wrong, and we have a choice to make between right and wrong, and we choose the right over wrong. 
And of course, with that, we need to align our conscience with our needs and wants. Because again, everything in, the, in this world that we do is, it goes back to whether we need it or whether we want it, right? And if we start to align our needs and wants to our conscience, then we'll make the right decision for, our, uh, for the environment. Finally, we need to act with conscience. So just three steps away. Uh, we'll go to the first one, increase consciousness. So what must I know? This is a question that you all must ask yourself. What do you want to know? If you look at the first picture here, that's just a pile of garbage. But did you know that 30% of what goes into garbage can actually be recycled? It can be composted, it can be compost, it's compostable, right? It can be used for other uses. It, it can go to other, uh, other means rather than into the garbage. The region of Peel, that's where we are, right in the heart of it in Brampton, uh, by, 2000, by the year 2034, uh, so that's about 26 years from now, they're looking at a diversion rate of 75%, which means 75% of garbage has to go away into other recyclable or compostable uh, uh, areas. So this is something that we want to drive ourselves towards. Right? I want you to look at this picture here. It says 170 kilograms, but you know what that is? That is the amount of waste, food waste specifically, that Canada drives every single year per person. So 170 kilograms of food is what each and every one of us is wasting in Canada every single year. And that's costing our economy $30 billion. Now, I'm not an economist here. I just, try, just, just want to try to put the, kilo, the kilograms into dollars. And that's allowing us, the, that waste is allowing us to generate 21 million tons of um, uh, um, greenhouse gases. They're largely from landfills. Now, do we want that? Now, this is a question we need to ask ourselves. Do we want that? It all falls back to where the cause is, and that's food waste. What else must you know? All right, this is the thought of the day, all right? We just saw it earlier, it comes back here again. Iftar at MIC, May 18, 2018. We look at this, this is something that we must not let happen, right? Again, as uh, Brother Muhammad Abbas mentioned, call it out to the individual if you see him or her and see if this thing must stop, right? Again, this is one picture, there are much more, but this became, of course, the photo of the day. Uh, what else must you know? Contamination costs our environment millions of dollars. This is a sneak peek into the June 2018, June 2018 National Geographic uh, front page, right? And if you take a look here, it says 18 billion pounds of plastic ends up in the ocean each year, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? These are certain things that we must know ourselves to, to allow us to increase our consciousness towards what's going on in the environment, right? This is something that you should also know, that you can help. This is not for just an, a, 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 an institution or a government or something. This is each of us as individuals are able to help. How? We need to dispose responsibly, right? We need to encourage our fam family and friends, right? If you've taken the initiative, if it has hit you that, no, yes, I have to be environmentally friendly, encourage your family, right? Uh, encourage, start with, start with those who are very close to you, either at home, in school, in madrasa, uh, at the masjid, etc., etc. Encourage them. Try to live a green life, right? We'll come to that shortly. And of course, you want to put your tax dollars to the right use, right? Because if you contaminate, if you dispose uh, incorrect f uh, waste into, in, into a different compartment, for example, uh, then of course that goes into the garbage. And of course, um, you're putting your tax dollars, which you're paying, into wrong use because then the government intends to recycle it, but they're putting it into garbage, right? So again, this is something that you must know that you can help. Dispose responsibly. Imam Ali alayhi salam in Nashul Balaka, is, we have seen uh, the, in, in saying number four, 437, it says, justice is putting together, if, sorry, justice is putting everything in its proper place. Right? We've all heard about this saying, right? The region of Peel has provided you at your homes, free of charge, three kinds of bins. You have the, of course, the recycle, the garbage, and the green beans. And after coming to Canada, I realized the green bean has actually become bigger than what it was when I came about three and a half, four years ago. So I realized that's the importance of the, that the Peel region is driving, and we need to try and support, especially to reach the 75% diversion rate. Now, this is something that you probably will see on the Peel region website, right? It's not something that we can memorize, of course, and we don't expect anyone to memorize. The Peel region doesn't expect to memorize. Uh, this ex that's the reason why they actually have a, uh, their website where you can go and type in what, you want, what goes where. Long list of items, just type in, just type tabletop or um, you know, 
bottle top or, or bottles or plastic or food waste, whatever it is, you'll find your answer, right? If you take a look at this picture here, sometimes we don't realize. A simple example, the most uh, prominent item there, like for example, the, 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 the coffee cups, right? A lot of us think it's paper, paper cup, it goes to the recycle. Did you know the Peel region does not accept that? City of Toronto also doesn't accept it. Right? That actually goes, needs to go into the garbage as you see it right from here. And I've picked this up, picked this up of course, from the Peer Region website. Right? Another example, which is again very prominent, is the water, plastic water bottles. Right? We have the water bottle with the, with the, with the uh, bottle top there. The bottle itself can go into recycle, but the cap has to go into garbage. But we as individuals, of course, we're running late or we're, we're careless. We don't know. Right? We're ignorant of it. We pick it up, we th throw everything, either into garbage or into recycle. But we don't realize that actually it's not, it's not supposed to be where it's supposed to be. That's why I always try to bring back what Imam Ali says, put the right thing in its right place. That's what justice is, and that's what we want to drive towards. MIC, our wonderful place around here, it's green. Right? It, has, it, it, it has been going green, but now it is green. Look around you, the LED lighting. Right? Lighting has been switched into LED. Right? When they re renovated the wudu area, you see now there's motion sensors faucets. Right? So you only use as much as is required. As soon as you move your hand away, the water stops. That water consumption, wastage, that water wastage that we are stopping, that itself is an initiative of being green. MIC has now switched tableware from polystyrene to biodegradable ones. Plates, walls, cups that you see around that you're using. Right? It's, it's, we've moved towards that. Uh, we're now disposing these biodegradable tableware in edible food scraps, and I like to really, I put in there and food waste, but I want to ma make sure that it is um, it's canceled out. This is not, we, we, don't, we don't want to put in food waste. Right? We need to finish our food waste, or we just take how much we want. But at least this is something that we are doing and not throwing into the garbage. We're responsibly depositing in, into organics only bins. And of course, MIC is continuing the green lane and to promote reuse. Now, I know we have a green lane in the men's and not in the ladies. Hopefully, inshallah, in the future, we, the women are also able to adopt a green lane. But that doesn't stop the women from bringing in the reusable tableware. So just like the men, you're, encouraging, you're coming in with tableware, encourage your, your family members, in, uh, your women, to bring in reusable tableware as well. You can play your part as well in this initiative that MIC is in. Uh, we, ex we, requ we request you to kindly follow the instructions that are on the waste collections table. So this is something that's typical on the, on the male side. On the women's side, maybe it might be different how it looks like. But follow the instructions. Where it's, where, put it where it's supposed to go. Where it says MIC cups, bowls, plates, spoons, etc. Put it where it's supposed to go. Help our volunteers. And we can, um, of course, be successful in this initiative. Avoid contamination of waste items. So if the spoons are supposed to go in the spoons container, avoid it to go from any of the other containers because all, that inf all the other stuff goes into the biodegradable bins. And of course, if wherever possible, bring in your own tableware. Now, who's supporting us in this initiative? The region of Peel is. What are they doing? They're providing us free organic dumpsters, the two-yard box or four-yard box that you see outside there. They're providing us free green, green beans, so those you must have seen around, both in the ladies and gents side. Free compost, compostable bin liners, right? We're not buying them, we're getting free of charge. Free organics pickup. So they come once a week and they will pick up this organics garbage and they will, of course, take it to their facility. And we have, this, we have this privilege, which even JCC don't have, because they are paying for that. So which, of, which favors of your role would you deny? Now, the question that you must ask yourself again, how can I be green at home if my masjid is green, if my center is green, right? Remember the three R rule. Reduce, reuse, recycle, right? First of all, first of, all of course, you try to reduce whatever that you, want, that you have, right? If you need only one, why buy three, right? Um, try to reuse. If you have something that you're gonna be using every now and then, simple example, you go to the office, and you're probably always um, filling up water, right? So have, take your tumbler with, tumbler with you and reuse it, rather than using maybe, I mean, I know most of the offices or some of the offices have uh, cups available, yeah? Instead of using that and disposing it, reuse your tumbler, right? Um, recycle. So wherever possible, recycle. Again, recycle here is big. Compostable uh, organics, of course, is one of them because you recycle and you put it back to earth. So try to recycle as well. Um, that's just a quick saying. I'm not sure where exactly who said this quote, right? But it says, it's a simple example. When you're, when you're doing wudu, right? You should be moderate in, moderate in its use, even if the whole river is at your disposable. Okay. How else can you be green at home? 
dispose responsibly, just as uh, we had it earlier. Unplug appliances after use. Buy green products wherever possible. Uh, shift to energy efficient lighting, uh, lighting and appliances, windows and doors, insulation, water consumption. Plant fruits and uh, plant fruits and vegetables in your backyard. This is the right time. Sow your seeds, reap the fruits, and of course, try uh, whenever possible participate in tree planting events. We were planning one of them earlier, unfortunately, it did not work out uh, due to the weather. But inshallah, we will be having uh, sometime later this year, inshallah. This is the question, or this is the statement that everyone will ask, right? But it's expensive. Let, let me tell you, so is food wasting. We saw that, right? $30 billion economy lost just because of food waste. Imbalance of wants and needs. Right? If you buy more of what you want than what you need, then of course you're spending more money. And of course, when you are trying to, when you're spending on unnecessary items, right? you're just throwing money away. It's costing you, it's costing you already elsewhere. It's going to cost your descendants even more. Right? So, of course, MIC, when they went to this initiative, they looked at Peel Region for their support. You too can look for support where? The Green Ontario Fund, right? Look at their website. There's a lot of initiatives that they have. They allow you to even, they give you free of charge, certain things free of charge. Save on energy. Recently, until May 6th, there was a, uh, a promotion where you get light bulbs for 50 cents each, right? Those are the, those are the, those are the, the, the programs or those are the times that you want to take advantage of those and, and for your own benefit. A, a region of Peel. If you go to their website, they also have some programs that can allow you and help you to support you from these, with these initiatives. Finally, let us remember that we have a God-given responsibility to preserve this earth. Right? As humans, we are keepers of all creation, including soil, air, water, animals, and trees. And finally, we can do this together. So finally, we ask you, your humble, your humble, our humble request, rather, um, to, of course, help us in this initiative right here at MIC, but take this initiative not just as an, take this as an example that if my masjid is doing it, I must do this at home. Right? This is something that we can take away from our masjid as well. Okay? Ahsan, thank you.